Hi guys, welcome to this session in a Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can save or sync a plan in Microsoft Project to a SharePoint list. So on the screen, I've got a very simplistic project plan with just a few tasks which I'm going to use to demonstrate this. So I'll just move this across a little bit so you can see it all. So what you need to do, so I've called this training resources. I want to go file and share and then i'm going to click on this option which will then if i click on sync with sharepoint come up with information that i want to see so i want to create a new site but i have got the option of an existing sharepoint site so new it's going to be called training resources and that's the path of it so i just click on save and what it should do now is open up a sharepoint site called that and show me the task list so it's now creating the list and preparing the list so the, the little boxes on the screen give you a bit of an idea of what's going on. Just wait a couple of seconds for it to do it. So eventually it drops the list into SharePoint. So you can see the tasks sitting at the top there, they've just popped in. So you can look at them via clicking on tasks if you want to see all the tasks as a list. You can see the list there. Now in this view or in project, I can add a new task. So if I click on new task online, first off, I'm going to just call this um, review, give it a start date of the 24th and a finish date of the 25th say, and save it. That will sit down the bottom here. But when I go back into project, that is not sitting there at the moment. If I click on save in project, that's now looking, syncing, and it automatically brings it in. And then you've got it there with a two day duration. I can put two days in. So if I add a task here, so if I go testing one day, I'll just link these up actually. So that'll just say six and seven. So it goes to the end, and then I go File, Share, Sync, or I can just go Save, and then it saves the updates. So whichever way you do, what you're wanting is the both sides, the project plan and the SharePoint site, to be the same. So there's the review. Now I can't see the testing on there. So I'll go back into project and just sync that again. I'll just click on that so it should sync. Save. And then go back up to the SharePoint site. And then after a short while, it pops up. So either end you can add a new task. My preference would be to add tasks in the project file and then get them to be picked up in this file. If you want to modify this view, the online view, the SharePoint list, you can, you can click on these three ellipses and go into modify this view. For example, I haven't got the start. Let's have a look. Start date, tick that. You might want that on there. And there's all these fields that you can have. Percentage complete is always a good one. And whatever other fields you want. And then you can change the order. So the start date is at number, let's put that to number three. So it's in the third column. And the percentage complete is at six. I don't really want a sign to, to be honest. So I'll take that off. And then I'll OK that and let's see what that looks like. Start date due date, percentage complete. You can also, from these three ellipses, look at this data like you can in project as a Gantt chart, and then it will just create the Gantt chart for you, which looks very similar to project. You've got all the information there. And again, if you want, you can add columns from this little plus to these uh, and, and remove them. If I click on that one. So we've got these 
columns you can move them up or down or whatever you want to do just cancel that off for now and if you want to go and have a look at all tasks again you just click on all tasks and it comes back to this list you have got a calendar option as well if you want to look at your project plan online as a calendar and there it looks as it was in Outlook, as it would in Outlook, so you've got it there, and then you can go back to your either home or tasks or whatever you want to do. So that's just a very quick video on how to get Microsoft Project information into a SharePoint task list. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.